for the reading of God's word. Uh, I'll be reading from Psalms 24. And it reads, the earth is the Lord's and the world is the road, yes. the world and they that dwell therein. For he has founded upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessings from the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your hand, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your head, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Hallelujah. I have read you Psalms 24 in its entirety. May the Lord have us to the ears and doors of his holy word. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come saying thank you. Thank, thank you for Lord. this opportunity yes. just to yes. be inside your house one more time. Hallelujah. God, we pray, God, that you would have our own way. Yes, Lord. God, we yes. pray, God, that you will move how you want to move today, God. Yes. God, we pray, God, that you will let some sinner man walk into this place saying, what must I do to be saved? Yes. God, we pray in advance for our bishop, God, that you will give him preaching power. Yes. God, we know that you are able yes. to do all things but fail. Yes. And God, we're pulling on the horns of your anointing this morning, God, and asking you, God, to let your glory fall fresh in this place. Yes. Yes. Do what you want to do, God. Yes. Throw your weight around. Yes. And God, we be so careful to give you all the praise, all the glory, yes. and all the honor. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and thank God. Come on, let's clap our hands. Let's give God praise. Amen. This time, this is the end of our lives. We're leading us in praise and worship. Let's clap our hands and receive her as she comes in our own Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Thank you. 
uh, church, we will be closing out our 2016 uh, Music and Worship Arts Symposium. Amen? Amen. And let me say thank you to the Cedar Grove Church. We have been uh, great support throughout this week as we have uh, been teaching on the music uh, for our choir. Amen? Amen. Um, Amen. So many people from the Cedar Grove Church was at our prayer breakfast on yesterday. Did you guys Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Tonight, I will close out our musical concert tonight at 6 p.m. Uh, it's going to be a great time of the Lord. Amen. Amen. If you really love some good singing, amen. amen. Meet us at the Grace Temple Church. Amen. amen. On this Wednesday, is National Day of Prayer. All over the world, all over the country, it is National Day of Prayer. So we will be here at 12 noon praying and seeking God's face on behalf of our country. Amen. 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 We'll also be having Bible study as well. Amen. Amen. Um, if you have a desire to sing in the choir, if you have a desire to sing in the choir, please meet Minister Cecil Thompson on um, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Amen. At the Grace Temple location. Amen. 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 Now, Sister Hart, Sister Hart, Sister Hart, you are uh, reading that list of all the good uh, food that will be prepared on Saturday. Amen. Um, was there a price? 12 and 14 now, now let me tell you, you guys have never had uh, the food from Cedar Grove. Let me tell you something. You do not want to go to heaven before. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Uh, the experiences that I've had eating the food here at the Cedar Grove Church is nothing but amazing. Amen. So I will be here. Amen. So give me two plates on the side. Amen. All my promise that we have the food. Amen. So Bless me good, amen. amen. Um, Pentecost Sunday, everybody say Pentecost Sunday. Pentecost Sunday. Um, May 15th, we will be observing the day the Lord birthed his church, amen. amen. Also on that day, May 15th, um, our bishop is asking everyone to please support as we have an outgoing fellowship to the City on the Hill Church, amen. Pastor Jawan Hilton is a son of bishop, and we want to make sure that we are in full support, amen. 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 So, all the other announcements, please keep. Um, keep it uh, according. Amen. Amen. Uh, May 29th. Amen. Yes, that day is fastly yes. approaching um, as the Memorial Day weekend throwback concert. Amen. Yes, we have a good time yes, singing yes. some old school songs. Amen. Amen. It's so good to know that we can still have a good time in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. At this time, my sister Sierra is coming down to give us another selection. She's doing such a wonderful job.
well, we want to know where you are today. Yeah. So just tell us your name and tell us where you fellowship, because if you're not fellowship, we look for you to be back here yeah. soon. Let all the saints say amen. Amen. Um, to you guys that don't know me, I'm the great grandson of the late A.T. Wendell Senior. The great A.T. Junior. Thank you. 
such a um, great time dealing with evangelism that our bishop has now extended um, our teaching series and our preaching series into the month of May. Amen. Amen. So this entire month again, we will be dealing with evangelism. Amen. Amen. And it's such uh, a powerful topic at the same time. Uh, Sister uh, Wilson, it's not very popular. You know, it's not one of those shouting sermons. Amen. It's not one of those exciting topics that we just love to deal with. Uh, but God has commissioned us, number one, to be uh, good servants for him. Amen. Amen. Um, it's not enough just for us to come inside of the house and get all the benefits, but we don't want to share anything. Amen. Amen. Um, so it's been a powerful thing at the same time. The last Wednesday we were dealing with um, evangelism, Brother Harris, on a whole other level. And me and my brother, Minister Cecil Thompson, we got together and we said, we want to look at it from a different perspective because, you know, we keep dealing with the same thing and we're going over the same thing. But we wanted to come at it with a different element and we wanted to come from a different angle of it. That way it can still be fresh word, it can still be um, relevant to everyone here. Um, because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Brother Harris, God wants us to share his word. Amen. Amen. He Amen. wants us to share his word. We um, Just like how um, we made the announcement about the food and how we're going to be, um, all the good dishes that's going to be prepared, how I'm so excited about the food. We have to have that same energy, the same excitement about telling people that Jesus still saves. No sense, brother Josh, that we can invite people to birthday parties and, mm. and um, outside functions, but we can't invite nobody to come to church. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. So we have to uh, we have to uh, train our minds to think differently. If we do not learn how to uh, uh, navigate our minds in the right direction, we will fail as Christians. Yes, yes. See, it's going to get quiet right in here. Amen. So we fail as Christians. And it makes no sense. We yeah. are being in church 30, 40, and 50 years. We die and go to heaven. And Lord said, well, what did you do? Yeah. Yes, yes. How many people did you tell about yeah. me? How many yeah. people did you witness to? How yeah. many people did you help? And it's going to be so sad, Sister Wilson, if we look over our truck record, we yeah. ain't got nobody that we help. Amen. Bless my family, bless my kids, and you know they bad. You know that you live in a hellish life, and you know that you're in sin, but yet you don't want to tell nobody that Jesus can bring you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So understand, number one, you have to learn how to count the cost. Amen. Yeah. It costs yeah. to be a Christian. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It costs to be a Christian. It, salvation is free, but walking with God is going to cost you everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Having a daily devotion with God, coming to Bible study, hello somebody. I said, coming to Bible study, hello somebody. I said, coming to Bible study, hello somebody. Amen. We have to realize that it's not enough just to come to church on Sunday morning. I said, it's not enough just for us to come to church on Sunday morning. But the real saints come to church on Wednesdays. Amen. Somebody. They want to get closer to God. They want to get more in tune with his word. Amen. So we have to learn how to count the cost of what it means to be a good servant of God. Amen. Not only do we have to be, uh, uh, we have to count the cost, but number two, we have to learn how to be uh, conscious on things that we're doing. Amen. Um, I recently, Brother Josh, recently, I just started working at Enterprise, right? I just started working at Enterprise, and it blows my mind that people who I don't even work with, like on the same shift, they walk up to me and say, what's up, Reverend? What's up, Minister? And I didn't even tell them that I was a preacher, right? But what they do is they go on Facebook, and they look at my page, and they see I'm in church, they see different videos and things like that. So because they're looking at me, they know I'm a preacher. Just, hey. just this morning, this guy was like, hey, man, you preach. I said, yeah, how you know? He said, I saw it on Facebook. I said, okay, cool. We have to be conscious on the things that we're doing, because if we're not, you're going to kill your witness. Hey. Hey. Now, it's going to be a sad day. It, it would have been a very sad day for the Harris if you walked up to him and was like, hey, bro, are you, are you a preacher? I said, yes, but you cuss. Yeah. Amen. You don't act like a preacher. Yeah. You don't do things like a Christian should. It will be a, a, a horrible feeling for me to know that even, that I don't even know he's looking at me. Right. I'm not even conscious that people do watch me. Yeah. Yeah. And then somebody. Yeah. So now that he knows I'm a preacher, now that he knows that I walk worthy of the call, yeah. now I can bring him to church. Amen. You see how easy it becomes when you walk worthy of God? Amen. See, it's so sad. 
sad, Sister Wilson, we don't want to tell people to come to church because they only know that you're saved based off the status on your Facebook. Amen. Amen. Oh, I just said something. <laughs> uh, they only know that you're saved because you check in on Sunday morning, but Monday through Friday, you live in like a, uh, 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 I can't, can't say the word I want to use, but you live it, uh, in a way that's not holier than that. Amen. Amen. So, so if you if you want to be effective in this Christian walk, if you want to be effective, you gotta live right. Amen. 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 I remember just saying, uh, old saying, uh, you it's like calling a kettle black. You know, <laughs> how are you gonna tell me to go to church if you ain't living right yourself? So you gotta learn. Look at our young people. We have young people at the back. Now, how would it be if the outside people can embrace them? Right. And love on them. Amen. But yet they can't get that back up. Jesus says, how can we say we love God, but we don't even talk to our neighbors when we see it? Yeah. You can't even speak to nobody. You can't even say good morning. You yeah. just walk, well, you wake up upset. How do you wake up, man? Huh? Yeah. You know, it don't make no sense, bro. Yeah. Sister, sister, well, how you, I know sometimes, you know, you get in your feelings, <laughs> but you wake up mad every day. Hallelujah. If you wake up mad every single day, you need to pray. It's something wrong. Yeah. Something wrong. Yeah. Amen. Even as a married man, I wake up mad every day. Uh, <laughs> they say happy wife, happy life. Amen. <laughs> sometime. Amen? Amen? So not only do you have to be conscious of the things that we do, we have to be in control of our emotions. Yes, Amen? Amen. Yes, we have to be in control of our emotions because the Bible teaches us be angry, but sin not. Amen? Amen. Amen. Somebody, that's the Bible. Amen. The Bible says be angry, but sin not. But that means you cannot allow the enemy to get the best of you. Amen? Amen. Amen. The enemy's job, the enemy's job. It's to kill, steal, and to destroy. That's yeah. his job. Yeah, yeah. A hater's job is to hate. So yeah. why do we get mad when they're just doing they're their job? Yeah. They're supposed to hate on you. That's their job. That's their occupation. Yeah. They get paid just to hate on you. Yeah. I don't know what they're getting paid, but they get paid to hate on you. Their objective in life is to make you miserable, but you make yourself miserable when you feed into it. Control of your life. Or you have to be in control of your emotions. I don't care if they cussing you out, calling you all kind of stuff. You have to remain holy and steadfast in God. They did the same thing to Jesus while he was on his way to Calvary, and the Bible says he never said a mumbling word. That it's easier said than done, yeah. but it takes practice. Yes, yeah. Yeah. If you just pop off every time someone says something to you, you're not practicing. Amen. Amen. It's a daily walk with God. Yeah. Amen. It's a daily thing. You have to strive at this thing. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna get there overnight. Yeah, you're gonna get upset. Yeah, you may um, have a rude gesture sometime, but you have to learn how to practice this thing. My grandmother tells me practice makes perfect. Amen. Amen. The more you practice it, the more you do it, the better you become. I, well, Sister Wilson is a different case. She probably came out the womb cooking good. She probably didn't need no practice cooking. But I just believe that over the years that God has allowed her to be on this earth, she has perfected her craft. Now everything she touches is She boils water and the, and the boiled water is good. I'm trying to tell you, Sister Wilson, anything she cook is going to be blessed. Amen. Amen. Control of your emotions. Amen? Yeah. Lastly, lastly, you have to be committed to change. Change. That's a very scary word in the church because we hate change. We don't want to change what everybody is saying. Um, the, the only thing that will remain the same is God. He says I'm the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So God will always be the same, but everything else is going to change. Amen, somebody. If we do not move fast with the time, we're going to be stuck in the past. Now, it's just the same same thing as if you bought a new TV, 50 inch, you know, to watch the football game during football season. Mm -hmm. How would you feel if you bought that same TV to watch? Who's your team? You watch football? Mm -hmm. Who's your team? Who's your team? Ram. No, that's not the right team. Okay, so, <laughs> <laughs> so let's say you bought this, you bought this TV, and you want to see the Rams play in the Green Bay Packers. That's my team. So we're gonna watch the Packers. We want the Rams, and when you bought the TV, put it in, and the TV was in black and white. Uh -huh. 
Wouldn't that make you upset because you want to see the TV in full HD color? Yeah. But yet the TV's in black and white like you was watching I Love Lucy. Yeah. It'll make you upset because yeah. the TV company is stuck in the past. Yeah. So you want to take that TV back because I don't want this old TV. Yeah. I want a new TV. Yeah. 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 It'll be the same thing if you bought a brand new iPhone. iPhones are like $700. Yeah. And it would be so, uh, so upsetting if you bought this iPhone and you couldn't even push the buttons and you got to turn something to make it go, you know, the, the old school phone. And it's the same thing. You would take the phone back, right? Amen. You want something that's up to date. You want something that's going to move with the time. And it's the same thing with our walk with God. You have to be adapted to the change of life. Amen. 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 Catch this. The message does not change. Amen. But the methods on how we do it will change. Amen. The message will always be Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Yes. But the way we go about it could be different and creative just so we can help people be blessed. Amen. Amen. Just like how Cedar Grove, we took the seeds and we gave it to um, we gave it to homeowners around the community because we want them to grow flowers. We want them to be able to plant seeds into yeah. their garden. It's a different creative way to just let someone know that I'm thinking about you. Amen. Amen? And, and we don't have to just go and knock on the door and get my Bible like everybody else does. Let's do something different. Let's Amen. just write a card and put it in the box and walk away. Say, see the girl, we just love you. That's that's all we want to do is just get people to understand that there's somebody thinking about you. Amen. Amen. People Amen. don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Absolutely. Absolutely. Our bishop, our bishop, he can stand here and preach every single week as he's been doing. But if he doesn't care about you, the preaching is not going to be effective. Hallelujah. Amen, somebody. Amen. But you receive Amen. the word more effectively because you know that in Bishop's heart, he cares about you. Yes. Amen, somebody. Amen. So it's how we do things. It's how we become more abreast with the change. Amen? Amen. 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 So that is what we're going to be dealing with, more of that in the month of May, dealing with evangelism. Everybody just say evangelism. Evangelism. Amen. See, everybody didn't even say it. Everybody didn't say it. Look at it. Just say it one more time. Everybody just say evangelism. Evangelism. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's stop right Let's give it up. Amen. At this time, we're going to move into our tithes and offering. Amen. We're going to move into our tithes and offering. Now, with the same... With the same attitude that we were singing and shouting and doing all the good stuff, we have to have the same attitude when we give. Mm. I got one clap. Okay, so giving is a part of worship. Yes. Amen. Yes. So just how we say, oh, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord, all that good stuff. Yeah, but the Bible also says, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse so there may be meat in my house. Amen, somebody. So how many Bible readers in the room today? So we have to understand that God has commissioned us to give. Who is quiet in here? Amen. I said God Amen. has commissioned us to give. The only way that you can be blessed is through giving. Yes. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. You cannot be able to receive anything if you're not giving anything. Amen. 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 Amen somebody. It's a basic, a basic principle. You can't receive anything with your hand is closed. Your, your five-year-old can get this lesson. You can't get nothing with your hand closed, but if you open up your hands, amen, you can receive a blessing, but you have to be able to give something to God. We ought to be excited when we give unto God. The Bible says that he loves a cheerful giver. Amen, somebody. In some other translations, it says he loves a hilarious giver. Amen. Just like we laugh at Kevin Hart and Kent Williams and all these other comedians, we have to have the same attitude when we're giving unto God. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Let's make sure that we are doing exactly what the Lord has commissioned us to do. Amen. Just 
into the dark and dismal ways through the valley of the shadow of death. David is letting us know. Huh? And even though we are Christians, even though huh, that we are sons and daughters of Christ, huh, this road that we walk on will not always be easy. Huh? And this road that we walk on will not always have beautiful roses and garden bushes in it. Huh? Uh, I wish you had a prayer church this morning. Huh?
purpose for our lives. God has a purpose for our lives. Not only does he have a purpose, Sister Wilson, and not only from the head is it up to God's preference, but I got to get about it here. But we have to remember that it's in the plan of God. It's in the plan of God because life is full of disappointments. It's full of upsetting moments. But we find strength knowing that God still has a plan for us. So have a witness in here. We must totally, totally submit ourselves to him. We have to submit ourselves to him because God created us. And because he created us, he knows all about us. Do I have a witness in here? Do you have to realize? That's in God's plan. Yeah, yeah. Do I have a witness in here? Yeah. I feel my ship coming down with the hair. Do you have to realize that God still has a plan for us? Yeah. And even though I may not understand his plan, even though I may not uh, uh, fully get his plan, but I find strength, Sister Nye, knowing that he still has a plan for me, yeah. that even though I'm not worthy of the plan, even though I'm not worthy to be counted in the number, yeah. and even though the Bible teaches us that all have sinned and come short of the goodness of God, yeah. but the Bible teaches us for the wages of sin yeah. is death. away huh? all of my sins uh, nothing but the blood of Jesus uh, look at your neighbor uh, and say neighbor uh, the blood of Jesus uh, it still has power uh, the blood of Jesus uh, it still works uh, the blood of Jesus uh, it reaches uh, from the highest of mountains uh, and it flows uh, to the lowest valley uh, look at your neighbor uh, and say neighbor uh, the blood Ha! <laughs> 
though it may not look good, yes, yes. God still is in control. Yes. Yes. I know, see the girl, I know you guys have gone through a whole lot of things. Yes. Yes. God still, yes. He's still in control. Yes. 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 In your life, in the toughest times in your life, he's still, look at your neighbor and say, he's still. He's still in control. Yeah. There's somebody here who needs to know yeah. that today that you can live in confidence in God. Yeah. 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 It doesn't yeah. matter what you're facing. It doesn't matter what you're going through or what you have been through. Yeah. If you want to live yeah. in the yeah. confidence of God, that if you want to have the joy of the Lord, if you want the joy of the Lord to be your strength, <coughs> you have to learn how to release to him. And once you release it to God, Hallelujah. don't pick it back up. From my mother that said that she was trying to kill me. She, said that she was trying to take me out. She, said, well, she, said she paid somebody a hundred thousand dollars to try to kill me. Hallelujah. She paid Hallelujah. somebody. Now this is the same woman, so Shannon, who couldn't even send me money for my birthday. But she paid somebody. So I don't know how she got the money. But she got a hundred thousand dollars to try to have me killed. And I was so angry with her. I grew up mad at her. Yeah. That's why we have the 
police beating on our kids, killing our kids, because they try to deal with them their own way instead of us coming in here and talking about it in the church. I wish I had a witness again. But I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that whatever it is that they're holding, God, that whatever that they're facing in their life, God, allow them to let it go. God, I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you will uh, we put it on the altar today, God, and we lay it at your feet, God, and we're placing it there, and we shall never pick it up again. God, today, we're going to be free from the chains of depression. We're going to be free from the chains of guilt. We're going to be free from the chains of unforgiveness. God, I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you will forgive the person who did us wrong. God, I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you will do something to them, God, that they will come
spirit in me today. And I need y'all to help me pull me out of this. I am all.
put your hands together and bless the Lord. Y'all forget me, but I just had to have a praise break right there. I'm still on fire. Hallelujah. God bless you. You may be seated. We get ready for our community. I just want to say good afternoon to you, Cedar Grove. God bless you. Amen. Let's thank God for Minister Donald Williams. Did he do a good job today? Come on, come on. My son. 